Daniel is a very happy child. He enjoys running or going to the beach. Niño encantador, tranquilo, simpático. Era un encanto. We realized that Biel was having a problem when he was two, three years old. En realidad, los problemas se empezaron a notar cuando no podía hacer lo que quería. He was falling all the time. We didn't know what was happening, and we visited many doctors. At the end, we realized that the problem was in his eyes. Para mí, como madre, descubrir lo que pasaba con Biel fue grande, desesperante, fue una tristeza horrible, fue un momento muy, muy duro. Biel has a kind of condition commonly known as tunnel vision. He has quite a good sight in the in the center of his vision, but he has problems for seeing around, and this is why he runs on obstacles and he easily falls. Low vision is when you are not completely blind, but you have visual impairment that do not let you do the basic daily task and cannot be fixed by normal lenses or surgery. There are uh, more than 70 million people in the world with mobility problems caused by uh, low vision. All parents feel their responsibility at least to do the most for a child with a disability. Creo que al final, como muchas madres, al final lo que hacemos es levantar la cabeza, salir adelante y buscar herramientas para poder ayudarlos y que tengan una vida plena y feliz. When you realize the health system will not offer you a solution, then the last option is that trying to make a solution yourself. In the beginning I didn't know all the details, but the basics using combination of artificial intelligence or 3D vision to make this adaptation was quite a strange to me. If doctors or medicine was not able to improve his sight, technology could at least improve his life. Our product is called Biel Smart Case. We are in the first version of the product. It uses 3D vision and AI to understand the reality. A ver, cuando yo utilizo las gafas, lo que logro ver es, en principio, una flecha que me indica que hay un obstáculo. Cuando yo logro enfocar mi, mi, mi campo visual hacia ese obstáculo, veo un círculo que me indica que realmente allí hay, allí hay un obstáculo y luego pues, pues, pues lo esquivo, gracias a la flecha primero y luego al círculo. The goal is to allow the patients to be independent and to go anywhere that they want to go without the need of nobody accompanying them. In the beginning there was nothing but parents with a need. We started with our own money. It was very hard. EAT Health was one of the first institutions that helped us. The bootcamp helped us in different aspects of developing startup. There was a possibility of talking with other patient innovators, which was very important. Patients try to find solutions is because the health system is not providing them. Patient innovation is becoming something important in the whole health system. We had this idea in 2015. It took about five years and we achieved the approval of medical device. We expect to release a new version on 2024 that will include navigation capabilities and 5G. The way that we are working is unexplored. We are making the way. What we hope when Biel grow as an adult is that he can use our glasses to do whatever he wants.
we have the opportunity to really change completely the lives of people with visual impairment.